With the constant flow of news on both the internet and television, it can sometimes be confusing on what's fake and what's real. The Robeson Lecture Series brought Lee McIntyre to discuss what that could mean for the future of news and truth. Monday night, students, faculty, and members of the Peoria community filled the Student Center Ballroom as the Communications Department hosted the annual Robeson Lecture. This year's lecture focused on post-truth in the internet age. Lee McIntyre, a research fellow at the Center for Philosophy and History of Science at Boston University, and also a lecturer in ethics at Harvard Extension School, educated people about fake news and how it's become so relevant in today's society. When the phrase post-truth became word of the year back in 2016, this caught McIntyre's interest in the subject. I found that science denial was one of the roots of post-truth. So. The one argument that I make in the book is that science denial is one of about four or five different routes that, uh, that lead to, uh, to post-truth. During the lecture, McIntyre showcased videos from the company Liarbird, which is a company that creates artificial voices. He explains the process of how such realistic videos get created. You speak into a microphone for one minute and they use that to make a universal dictionary and then they can use that to they put your voice through a speech synthesizer which can then say anything that you want to say one of the main things that McIntyre stresses to people is that they should be vigilant and understand that anyone is susceptible to it fake news is tailored uh, in particular to appeal to us. It, it's, it's engineered uh, to manipulate us into thinking that something that's false is true. And the way they do that is by playing on what we want to believe is true. So if we're just aware of it and we're careful, uh, I think we can, uh, we can do a better job. If you would like to learn more about the idea of fake news and post-truth, Lee McIntyre's book titled Post-Truth is available on Amazon. For BUTV News, I'm Krista Broom.